Welcome back to another video on Genmojis on your iPhone. In this video, I'll show you not only how to create simple emojis by combining random words, but also how to save Genmojis that other people send to you so that you can use them. First, you'll want to tap on the globe icon and select the emoji keyboard. In the field which says describe an emoji, type the words you want to use. When they create new emoji text appears, tap on it to bring up the Genmoji creator. Your description will remain in the creation field. Once Apple Intelligence creates your emoji, you can swipe left to look at the different versions that are created. If you don't like any of these, you can swipe back to the beginning by swiping right. I'm going to go with this one that looks like flame. Then tap on add and once you do, your Genmoji will be added and then you can tap the send button to send it. Both of these emojis now exist as stickers and they also exist on your emoji keyboard. But what happens if you want to save an emoji that someone else sends to you? I'm going to swipe down to go further up in the conversation and you'll see several emojis including the red wizard that you saw on the thumbnail for this video. In order to save an emoji that somebody else has sent to you, you're going to want to select the emoji that you want to save, then long press and hold, and you'll see an emoji details option. Tap on this, and by default, you'll get the description that was used to create this Genmoji. But if you tap on the download icon like I just did, you'll notice that this Genmoji gets added to your stickers panel, and you can use it as either a sticker or a Genmoji. If you look carefully, you'll see the new emoji on my emoji keyboard. To send your new emoji, just select it from the emoji keyboard and then tap on send.